Do you like dancing more than coding? Not really. Welcome to Coding After 30. In this video, we're going to talk about starting your first project. If you're stuck, not sure where to find ideas for projects that you should be building, this is something that I do that helps me to find some great ideas that will help you get started on your first projects. Everybody says that building a portfolio is the best way to learn. So if you're not finding any cool ideas, this is what you should do. Hey guys, my name is Paul. By the way, if you're new to this channel and you're looking to switch into web development, consider subscribing. I also started to do a live stream where I answer your questions about anything web development related. It's called Coffee, Code, and Chat. If you're interested, I started streaming every Friday night at 12 a.m. Eastern time. I am looking for another time to get some of you guys who are not in the same time zone, but I'll keep you guys posted. With that being said, let's get to this video. So very important for you guys is to build a portfolio, but when you're just starting out, especially if you're a self-taught developer, you might be looking around, you might be doing tutorials, but at the end of the day, you're not sure what to do. You're not sure what to build. Maybe you're not strong in UI. Maybe you're just not sure how to even begin with a design. So this I have found to be one of the most helpful ways that have taught me to not only get better at HTML and CSS, but also learn about design work. So what I do, I go on website like themeforest.com or other websites similar to that, and I see what other designs people made. And one thing that I do, I try to pick the most highest sold design because that shows me this is the type of design that people are paying money for. So if I learn to make designs similar to this one, I'm on the right track. And I really believe if you recreate some of these awesome websites that you find and you become comfortable, not only are you able to make them in HTML and CSS, make them responsive, and you're also able to build it in your favorite JavaScript framework like React, React, and React. Okay, I'm just kidding. There is Angular and Vue. I don't know who uses them, but they do exist. But anyway, the point is, this is the way for you guys to do it. So I'm going to jump onto my computer. I'm going to show you the place that I go look and some of the examples I selected. And hopefully you'll get some great ideas of projects to build for your next portfolio. Hey guys, here we are in front of my computer. I love Theme Forest. There's many other sites like this, but this is Theme Shop for WordPress, HTML templates and stuff like that. And what I like about this is you could check out what other people have created and are literally selling on this website. So the cool thing about that is you get to see the type of websites people make and what they sell. And this is great because you're able to, let's say, look for portfolio themes. They will have a bunch of different portfolio themes for you to check out. And what's awesome, you guys could click on something that you like. Let's take a look at this one. And you could go to live preview. Once this loads, we're gonna, and here we are. Here's the website. You could see this is a little too artsy for me. Actually, we didn't really click the template yet. Which one should we take? This one looks cool. So let's click this one. So once we click a website, we could see, wow, this is pretty cool. And I like that side scrolling here for their image slider. This is pretty awesome. And what's cool about this is you could check out these different designs. And I like it that, okay, we could check out the menus. We could see what it looks like. Let's go see how the blog looks like with the right sidebar. So you click on it and you get to see, wow, this is kind of cool. I really like this. This is really cool. But what I'm getting at is you could see some great ideas. So if you're looking to find an idea for something that you should create, this is a great way to find stuff and be able to play with it and see if you could recreate it yourself. And the cool thing, when you get stuck, you could always hit the inspector here, go to inspect, select different elements. Like I like this, I like this image here and you could kind of see it. Okay, I see what they're doing. And you could see that they're using display flex. They're using justify center and flex direction column. Okay, cool. And and so basically you could actually practice messing around with CSS. If I turn everything off, I could kind of play with it here. I could be like, okay, we want this to take up the whole height 100%. And then we know that we could center things with flex box. And so I'm going to say flex display flex. Okay, okay, and then maybe we wanna justify content center, and then we want the line item center, and bam, it's in the middle here. And so this is a great way for you guys to play around, see the CSS they used, and recreate it yourself. So that's why I like going to a place like Theme Forest or any website similar to that, where you could check out the websites that you like, you could see what people are selling, so you know, you, so you know you're getting things that other people buy. So if you want to build confidence creating beautiful websites, one way to do is just kind 
copy many, you know, high rating websites. And so for my portfolio, I was like, you know what? I keep telling people the best way to learn is by copying other people's websites. I'm not saying you should sell it because that's wrong. But you, if you want to practice, you should find some websites you like and then basically see if you could recreate them. So I'll show you one example. Here's one I found on Theme Forest. This is an amazing portfolio website. What I love about this is because they really put some thought process into it. They have the hero section. They have right away call to action. They have about me. You could click this to go to your portfolio. Here you could click to get the resume. Then they show the services this person offers. This could be the services you offer. And then they have their portfolio section. And this could be different websites you build or whatever web design portfolios. This is just an example, obviously. Point here is this is a beautiful website. So if you're not a good UI designer, you're just learning, just find other websites you like and see if you could recreate them. Once you're able to recreate this, you could obviously add your own flair to it, change it up a little bit. But the idea of taking a website that somebody built and by copying, you're going to learn by doing. You're going to, first of all, learn how to write all the CSS and HTML. You're also going to, through repetition, just kind of understand the designs that work or designs that don't work, even though you might not know why it works. Like I know this website look pretty clean, pretty awesome. So if I were to use it for my portfolio, this is what it would be. So I bought this theme for my WordPress site, but I was like, you know what? I like WordPress, but it'd be much nicer if I did this in Next.js. So I'm actually recreating this website for my portfolio here. Obviously, I'm going to change the pictures and this is done in Next.js. And so once you create an HTML and CSS version of the site that you like, then you could convert it to your favorite JavaScript framework like React or Angular if you like it for some reason or Vue.js. And so this is what I'm building for my project. Here's some sample code. I'm using Next.js and I'm using CSS modules. I like actually styled components a lot, but I also wanted to learn and get comfortable with using CSS modules. I think it's good to know both. And here's other examples of cool websites. Like this site is pretty good for a portfolio. If you could build websites like this, you could start building websites for clients. Most clients, they don't need a super complex app. They just want a website like this where people are able to go and select their services, hit the purchase button and purchase. Here's another great example. I really like this sidebar here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And so by finding these awesome websites, especially if you're not sure what to build for your next project, just find a bunch of websites like this, recreate them, make sure that when you recreate them, you're able to kind of see what they're doing for their responsiveness and recreate that as well. And let's say you take three of these websites and you recreate them from start to finish and you make them look almost identical to these. I guarantee you that you will be comfortable with CSS and HTML. And then if you could take that HTML HTML and CSS and convert it to JavaScript like I'm doing here, I believe that's more than enough skills for you guys to be able to land your first junior web development job. Point is, once you're able to recreate a website like this and you're able to do it in uh, one of the popular frameworks, React.js, React.js and React.js. Now, of course, there's Angular and Vue, but React.js is awesome. You'll be well on your way to get your first junior web development job. So if you're not sure what to do and you want to build a portfolio, I'm currently rebuilding the site and I will show you the progress that I'm making, talk to you about the gotchas I had. So if that's something that interests you, subscribe to this channel to keep up with my newest videos that I put here. Or if you want a challenge on your own, you could find any website you like. If you want to find this exact website, you could find it on Theme Forest and see if you could recreate it. But it could be any website that you like. So before we finish this uh, video, let me jump back up to the main camera and we'll go from there. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. I really love the support that I get from you. And I just want to say how I appreciate everything that you do, especially when you leave comments, ask questions, or just tell me my videos were helpful. I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you. And with that being said, if this is something you enjoyed, smash the like button. If you like what I do on this channel and want to see more, consider subscribing. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget, every Friday night, 12 a.m., coffee, code, and chat with me. That's Eastern time. If you can't make it for some reason, that will be recorded and posted later. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. And I do love dancing, guys. You see, look at the dance moves. Ah, ah, look at that. You guys didn't know.